Hey guys, we got another video for you today. Here I'm going through my colors real quick. Titanium white, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, Payne's gray, and raw umber. This is a limited palette that I am going to be working with with a few different smaller size brushes on a six by six inch canvas paper. Uh, it's just kind of a practice painting. Um, so I really, and that, that last one, I don't really know what size that is or what it is. Uh, it's got some paper towels, mixture of linseed oil and odor of mineral spirits. That's going to help me be able to move my paint around. So here I am. I'm just kind of soaking the canvas paper with that mixture. And I'm just going to be moving in some, blocking in some shapes here. Now, I apologize. My hand is going to be kind of in the way from time to time. But, you know, you're going to get a good look at what I'm doing. I uh, used a little paper towel there to just sort of um, lift some of that paint up a little bit on the underside because the underside is going to be a little bit, bit uh, lighter than the upper side of the bird. I'm painting a sparrow here and I just found a picture online of this sparrow and I figured I would uh, do what I could to, uh, to bring you a little bit of my technique here. So the main idea here is to um, use this limited palette uh, and, and what I mean by a limited palette is you have essentially a a dark tone, which is I'm using a raw umber for, and then you have a yellow tone, a blue tone, and a red tone. I don't know if tone's the right word there, but hue, essentially. So I have a uh, Payne's Gray as my blue, I've got uh, Burnt Sienna as my red, and Yellow Ochre as my yellow, and then I've got white. And here I'm just kind of showing you, you know, essentially what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm blocking in this bird, and I'm just kind of showing you how quickly and easily you can start to bring in some some life to your painting uh, without getting bogged down in details with small brushes, without dealing with, you know, all the little details. I'm just setting in some basic tones, right? I'm getting my darks set in, my, my mid-tones set in. Really, I'm starting with my mid-tones overall. And uh, I'm just trying to find the different, the different color shapes, right? So you saw that I blocked in the the uh, bird, and I'm just slowly starting to bring it all together. Um, so uh, obviously this looks very rough. So it is it is. Oh, there's my hairy hand again. But here I'm bringing in a little bit of the negative space background um, tone just to sort of bring the uh, bird forward a little bit. And I'm just bringing some, just the most minor elements of the background into play so that we get a, a little bit of a stability to our subject, right? Here I'm laying some highlights over my, well really they're not highlights, but they're just kind of lighter mid-tones over my darks that are on the wings of the bird, on the back of the bird. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see I'm just building up. There's my, there's my knuckle. I'll stop talking about my hand. Um, so uh, yeah, you can see that really now I'm starting to work some, some lighter mid-tones in. Um, I'm bringing darks in occasionally. I'm really focused on colors. Uh, not necessarily getting the perfect color, because that's what the limited palette essentially prevents you from getting like perfect colors. But what it lacks in that area, it makes up for in giving you colors that harmonize well together. Um, you can see I'm mostly focused on using that Payne's Gray and that Yellow Ochre with a little bit of the raw umber. I haven't really touched that burnt sienna too much, but I will start to work that in here pretty soon. Um, now this bird is starting to take shape, and this painting took me about um, an hour or so, so it's kind of a short study, uh, just kind of getting used to these brushes. Now, these brushes, these are just old brushes that I cleaned up and restored, um, but you know, every time you paint, you gotta kind of get used to it again. And here I am bringing in some of these lighter mid-tones and I'm always kind of okay so well John Singer Sargent I, I read some stuff on on the way he painted and he would start with his mid-tones and just kind of find those uh, sort of elements that are going to help him ground his painting right so he's getting his forms put in he's getting his uh, his his relative darks his relative lights and then he would just work in the paint on top of the paint. This is called a wet on wet method or a wet in wet method, or it's also called a la prima, where you're just painting it all at once, all at the first, right? And um, 
so that's just my, my determination here is just to kind of get this bird studied and painted and again i'm adding to that background unfortunately the lighting kind of creates a bit of a glare but it's not too bad and as it dries it starts to uh come together and one of the things that i, I attempt to do here is um show you how negative space can really help you carve out your subject right so putting that bird against that darker blue or Payne's gray background is really starting to let it pop also paying attention to the the anatomy of the bird so the bird i started to uh fix the upper um, neck portion of the bird there because it was didn't quite look right compared to the uh, photograph um, now if you're interested in getting a better idea of my process here i will be uploading a video where i talk much more in depth about my um, my work here and, and what went into my decisions. Uh, I actually was speaking as I was painting this, I was giving sort of my thought process and, uh, and how I was approaching it. And so that video is gonna be probably around 50 minutes to an hour and I'll be uploading that soon. So if you're interested in that, please uh, like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when my videos are going to be uploaded. Um, you can look at my most recent videos as well. I have some other uh, sort of demonstrations of how I work in terms of drawing. And I plan to, to bring more of these videos your way. So hopefully it was kind of fun to see my knuckles and, <laughs> and fun to see this bird. One thing that is going to happen as I continue to work here is that I'm going to get better at my camera angles. And uh, so hopefully you can look forward to that. So here I am kind of putting my finishing touches and I've finished up with this bird. Here it is.